Some harsh words on either side, but no killer blow. There were two people still standing in the fight to secure the French Socialist Party's presidential nomination. And with three days to go till the decisive vote, Martine Aubry, the mayor of Lille and head of the Socialist Party, has been questioning her opponent's left-wing credentials. I wasn't happy that he used right-wing language about public health care and the 35-hour week. His words were right-wing, and it always bothers me when someone from the left uses right-wing language. Her opponent and predecessor as party leader, François Hollande, is painting himself as being above such personal attacks and says he can be a unifying force of a fractious left wing. I don't need to denigrate, devalue or denounce anyone. I simply need to convince people of my plan because afterwards they'll all have to come together. What makes the difference with me is that I'm looking to unite people around a coherent line. These are France's first open primaries which any voter can take part in. They've gripped the country, but the attention has made them unusually divisive. And that could be a problem after Sunday, when the party needs to quickly reunite behind whoever's chosen. It is possible, after a confrontation like this, to have reconciliation, especially since the ideological positions of both candidates are very similar. But one feels that if this campaign is kept up, then these rivalries could become very sensitive. Both candidates seem exhausted by these primaries. Nearly six million people watched their last debate on live television. With that kind of public involvement, whoever wins on Sunday might well feel they have every chance of doing well in presidential elections next year.